The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back. And as you know, we make videos about health and other topics and it has been quite some time we have covered vitamins. We have covered, already done videos on vitamin C, vitamin D. Now it's time for B and B. The most important vitamin in the B group is B12. So today we are going to talk about B12. So what is this? Why do you need B12, right? What happens when you don't get enough B12? What are the functions of B12, etc, etc. Everything will be answered today. Don't go anywhere. Let's do this. B12 is a water-soluble vitamin. Water-soluble vitamins dissolve in water. So, after the body uses these vitamins, the leftover amount actually leaves the body through the urine. So, B12 and all the B vitamins are water soluble and vitamin C is water soluble. The B and C, BC is water soluble and A, D, E, A, A, D, E, K are fat soluble vitamins. So, the body can actually store some amount of vitamin B12 for years, for, a, for years in the liver. Yes, it can store. Then the function, what is the function of vitamin B12? B12 and other B vitamins are very important for protein metabolism. It's very important for your muscles. It helps the formation of red blood cells also. Red blood cells is the main cell which takes oxygen to all the cells, all the tissues of your body. So they are very important. So the third thing which is it, which for which B12 is required is your central nervous system, your, your nerves, your brain function. So your brain, your muscles and your red blood cells, your whole body needs vitamin B12. So where can you get vitamin B? Vitamin B12 is naturally present in wide variety of animal proteins. It's present in animal proteins. Plant foods have no vitamin B12 unless they are fortified, right? So you can get the recommended amount of vitamin B12 by eating a variety of foods like uh, organ meats, fishes, shellfish, uh, meat, poultry, eggs, milk, or other daily, daily foods, right? Uh, some breakfast cereals and nutritional yeast also contain a good amount of B12. To find out if the vitamin B12 has been added to your food product, you can actually check the nutritional fact label on the food label of that product. See, the body absorb, absorbs these animal sources of vitamin B12 much better than any plant source. So non-animal sources of B12 actually vary in their amount of B12 and they are not thought to have any to, to be actually reliable to actually uh, give your body a good amount of B12. So what happens if you don't get uh, B12 in the amount which you need? What happens if you lack vitamin B12? B12 deficiency will occur and in that case your body is unable to get one or it's unable to absorb the amount of uh, vitamin which is needed. So what happens? Many people actually uh, over the age of 50 years lose the ability to absorb the amount of vitamin B12 from food. That can lead to uh, vitamin B12 deficiency. People who follow a strictly vegetarian or a vegan diet, they also need vitamin B12 fortified food or they should talk to their doctor if they need vitamin B12 supplements because they will also develop B12 deficiency. People who have had a gastrointestinal stomach surgery like a weight loss surgery, they also lose the ability to absorb B12 and need B12 supplements. People who have digestive disorders like a celiac disease, Crohn's disease, malab they also have this problem of malabsorption. They cannot absorb enough vitamin B12. So if the vitamin B12 level is low, this can cause serious problems like anemia, 
pernicious anemia that is uh, deficiency of hemoglobin rbc's which will lead to a lot of problems right loss of balance is also a different thing because of that central nervous system will get affected your cns your nerves will get affected so you will have numbness and tingling tingling numbness in your arms and legs you will have weakness you will have fatigue you will have so many psychosomatic symptoms that i cannot explain but the basic here is the nerves is the nervous system is the deficiency of red blood cells anemia right this is the main and then muscles muscles will not get developed the muscle fatigue will happen easily muscle cramps can happen so a lot of things can happen if you don't have vitamin b12 and and many times the presentation of patients are vague very vague complaints very different types of complaints are there so how much should you take what is the recommendation see the best way to meet your body's requirement of b12 is to eat a wide variety of animal products yes include them in your diet that's the best or you can actually supplement supplemental b12 can be found in almost all multivitamins b12 is better absorbed by the body when it is taken along with other b vitamins like niacin riboflavin vitamin b6 magnesium if you take b12 with them it is best absorbed so a uh, prescription form will be given by your doctor very easily you can even take injections of b12 nasal gels of b12s are also available b12 is also available in the form which actually dissolves under the tongue sublingual right the doctor can actually give you that kind of uh, uh, something right the recommended dietary allowance dietary rda for vitamins actually reflects how much of each vitamin most people should receive on a daily basis and rda for vitamins may be used as a goal for each person so how much of each vitamin you need depends upon your age your gender right and other factors like if you are pregnant if you have a disease and most are also very important these are also very important so women who are pregnant or breastfeeding will need a higher amount of vitamins so you need to ask your doctor about how much vitamins or b12 or other vitamins you need but there is a dietary recommendation for b12 here it is how much infants 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 mean infants from 0 to 6 months of age need 0.4 micrograms per day of b12 7 to 12 months you need 0.5 micrograms per day children from 1 to 3 years will need 0.9 micrograms 4 to 8 years you need 1.2 micrograms 9 to 13 years 1.8 micrograms and adolescents and adults males and females of the age of 14 and older will need 2.4 micrograms per day pregnant ladies pregnant teens and women will need 2.6 microgram and breastfeeding teens and women will need 2.8 micrograms of vitamin b12 which is cyanocobalamin cobalamin that's the thing so this is the b12 which you need and quite frankly there are so many overlapping diseases which happen nowadays many people come with vitamin d and vitamin b12 deficiency so if you haven't watched my video on vitamin d don't forget to watch that you can easily find it by just typing vitamin d by dr education on the youtube search bar and you will find the video that's how you find any topic which you need from me and don't forget to be healthy stay connected